Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install eFootball 2022 game from Microsoft Store on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So to fix this, the first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So on the top right here, you can see your profile icon, click on it, then click on sign out, then click on sign in once again, select your account, click on continue, then over here, enter your PIN or password over here. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, make sure date and time and time zone is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. So make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now over here, make sure set time automatically is on. In Windows 11, in Windows 10, you will see set time zone automatically. That should also be on. In case of Windows 11, you have to click on time zone and select the right time zone from here and scroll down in case the time is wrong click on additional clock and then go to date and time click change date and time you can go ahead and change month and uh, year from here and select the date from here then click on ok and you can also change the time from here then click on ok so make sure the date and time time zone is correct and then try to install the game then the next step is to try installing the game from my library so you can go to library over here click on it now if you find eFootball 2022 game over here you can go ahead and install it from here but still you're facing the problem if you don't find the game in library in that case you can go ahead and skip the step also make sure gaming service is installed on your computer so if you don't find gaming services if gaming service is not installed you can go ahead and Try the steps from here. Uh, I've made a separate video on how to install gaming services on your computer. So you can visit this link. Now the next step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu and then open settings. In Windows 10, you have to click on update and security. On that screen, you will see update and security. Click on it. In Windows 11, click on system, scroll down, then click on troubleshoot and then click on other troubleshooter in windows 10 you will you will have additional troubleshooter click on it and then scroll down here you can see windows store apps click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and try to install the game the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so go ahead and type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset now this will open a black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away automatically. And after that, it will open Microsoft Store. And after that, you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now over here, you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. And now you can go ahead and try to go ahead and install the game once again. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and update Windows 10 or 11. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings and make sure that your windows is up to date for this go to windows update and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to install the game the now the next step is to reset reset store app for this go to the start menu then click on settings go to apps and then click on apps and features and over here find store over here so over here you can go ahead and type in store and then in windows 10 simply click on it in Windows 11, click on this three dot and then click on advanced options. Scroll down over here, you can see the reset option. So click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can go ahead and try to open Microsoft Store and then install the game once again. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and restart Windows update, restart these services. For this, go ahead and type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then go to windows update find windows update scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update make sure startup type is set to automatic and then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with windows update selected over here click on restart the service now find microsoft store install service over here you can see make a double click then make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with this selected click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click on background intelligent transfer service make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted and after this 
you go ahead and click on OK. And then with this selected, again click on Restart. And then you can go ahead and open Microsoft Store and then try to install the game once again. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and delete Windows Store local cache file for this. Go to this location. For this, open File Explorer. Then go to this PC, open C drive. Then open the Users folder. And then open your username folder. And then open App Data. In case if you don't see the App Data in Windows 10, you on the top, you will see the View option. Click on View. And then put a check on the box which says Hidden Items. So in Windows 10, Click on view, then put a check on hidden items in Windows 11. Click on view and then click on show and then put a check on the box which says hidden items and then you should be able to see app data. Open app data and then open the local, then open the packages folder. Scroll down here, you can see packages. Open it. Now open Microsoft Windows Store. Scroll down. Now find Microsoft Store. Microsoft Windows Store. So So over here, yeah. now over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store, this particular, it ends with this BWE, BWE, open this folder and then open the local cache folder and then you have to go ahead and delete all the contents over here. So. If you don't find any contents over here, go back and then make a right click on local cache and then click on delete. And once this is deleted, restart Microsoft Store. And then you can go ahead and try to install the game from Microsoft Store. You should not face the problem. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run PowerShell command to re-register Microsoft Store. For this, type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on Run as Administrator, then click on Yes to allow and then copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the Enter key and once this is done, you can go ahead and try to use Microsoft Store. Just ignore the error message in my case. You might not receive that error message. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. For this, copy this command. Open PowerShell. So go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. And then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow. And paste the first command over here. This will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. So once this is done. Now over here, if I try to search Store, there is no store over here. Now go ahead and restart your computer. So click on the power icon, then click on the start, uh, click on the start menu, then click on the power icon, click on restart. And after the system restart, copy this command. And then open PowerShell once again. And then make a right click, then click on run as administrator once again. Click on yes to allow. And run the second command. Hit the enter key. This will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So type in store and open Microsoft Store and then you can from here you can go ahead and try to install eFootball game once again and that should go ahead and fix the problem. But still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run these two scan for this go ahead and type in CMD in Windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and copy the first command over here paste it over here hit the enter key all the commands are provided in the video description and let the scan complete. Once this scan is 100% complete, you run the second scan. So once this is 100% complete, run the second scan. And once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box. Then click on inetcpl.cpl. Then go to the advanced tab. Scroll down. Make sure. TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 all are checked over here. 
if any one of them is unchecked make sure these all three all four are checked that is tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 make sure everything is checked then click on apply okay and then open microsoft store and then try to install it now the last step is to reset windows 10 or 11 so now before you perform reset go ahead and create a backup because reset may result in data loss you might lose all the data on the computer so go ahead and create a backup then go for reset for this go to the start menu then click on settings now in windows 10 you have to click on update and security in windows 11 you have to click on windows update and after you click on Win update and security in windows 10 click on recovery in windows 11 you have to click on windows update then click on advanced option then recovery and then here you can see the reset this pc option click on reset pc now here are two options one is keep my files other is remove everything keep my files will actually remove application and settings but it will keep your personal file the next option remove everything will remove all your personal files apps and settings so you have to start everything from the scratch so i am selecting this option and then you can go ahead and click on local reinstall and then click on next and then let the reset complete after the reset you have to go ahead and set up your computer once again and then after the setup log into your computer and then open microsoft store and then search for eFootball 2022 and then you can go ahead and click on get or free and then you can start installing your game so one of the steps should help you to install the game successfully on your windows 10 or windows 11 computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.